Oakengrist Distilling Company was founded under the tutelage of my mentor, retired master distiller Edwin Dodson from Scotland. We set out to craft a regionally inspired single malt whiskey, and along the way, we developed our Dark Rhythm Gin, which is a Geneva style gin. So we take our single malt whiskey and we brew, ferment, and distill it to completion. And then, if we're making gin, we steep our botanicals in that whiskey and redistill it into gin. So every drop of spirit that ends up in our bottles is truly 100% grain to glass from locally malted barley from right here in Western North Carolina. So we got started as a grain to glass distillery for, for many reasons, but the, the main reason for us was that you know it's commonplace in, in the distilling industry nowadays to source some aspect of your production. Uh, from another larger distillery. And so what we decided to do is to shuck that notion and to create a stronger bond between our farmers, uh, us as producers, and the people that we sell our product to as consumers. And the only way to do that was to make our product from scratch uh, every single time so that what ended up in our bottle was in fact a craft product. My favorite part of Oak and Grist and working here is the, the people connected with it. So William, uh, all of the people that come with it, the people that come into Oak and Grist, the people I meet. Um, I think that I get to say that because Oak and Grist is set up in a way that uh, I'm proud of every single thing we do and every part of this business. And I. I think that that's not always something an employee can say. Um, so, you know, every bit of our processes, um, I mean, you know, we're totally grain to glass. We're not just uh, doing as good a job as we can making our spirits, but we're supporting local agriculture while we're doing it. We're supporting uh, our farmer friends and local craftspeople. Um, so I'm so proud to say that. And along with that, you know, also we, something that I don't think gets said all the time is that we donate some profits to our voice for our gin and Southern Appalachians Highlands Conservancy for the whiskey. And so, you know, and kind of unspoken part of that bottle price is 10% of that uh, profit is going to those amazing nonprofits in Asheville. So, um, you know, there's nothing that I'm not completely proud of that we're doing. And along with that, I get the opportunity to connect with those people in our community. And I wouldn't otherwise, but I am so thankful because those people are awesome.